Greetings, everyone. Fellow travelers through the cosmos, fellow light beings, it is now October 15th, one day after the prophecy of Blossom Goodchild. The prophecy that told us that on the night of October, well, the day of October 14th, if we were to cast our eyes heavenward, we would see the most awesome sight. We would see a spaceship, a light ship from the Galactic Federation of Light, come to spread a message of love and happiness and joy to the world and herald in the beginning of a great new age. Is it just me or was there nothing in the sky yesterday? Greetings, everyone. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, we're going to change gears a little bit today just because this particular subject has been raging across the internet for the past couple days, and I wanted to kind of give my take on it. Now, as many of you probably know, uh, this, this woman, Blossom Goodchild, psychic, medium, channeler, whatever, issued a statement a while ago, a couple, I think it was back in August, that on October 14th, 2008, Earth would be visited by an alien spacecraft, roughly 2,000 miles in diameter, and composed entirely of light. So it would be this big light ship, as it's come to be called, providing once and for all final, definitive, clinching proof of the existence of extraterrestrials in our universe, showing us once and for all that we are not, in fact, alone in the cosmos. Now this, of course, was very exciting to a lot of people. I mean, myself. I thought, hey, if that's true, and if it happens, that would be really cool. But I'm not going to hold my breath. But I maintained an open mind. I figured, well, the interesting thing about this prophecy is that it was made so close to the actual time at which it was supposed to occur. Now, normally with these kinds of prophecies, or any kind of prophecy, it's like, oh yeah, years from now, this big thing is going to happen. And then when it doesn't, it's like, oh, well, you know, it did, but not in the way that, you know, we thought it would. Um, or it's just, or they just completely backpedal and say, oh, well, you know, that's... It, it, it's actually, we got the dates wrong. It's not going to be this date, it's going to be this other date. The other thing that made this uh, particular prophecy interesting was that it was just so specific. It basically said, or Blossom Goodchild basically said, that there would be an actual physical spacecraft that you could look up and see clear as day. You could take pictures of it, they would be clear and in focus, assuming you know how to work your camera, and it would be the final definitive proof that aliens exist. No, no, like, bones about it, no hidden meanings, nothing. There was just, it was very clear. Actual spaceship. Look up. See the spaceship. Take pictures of it. End of story. Aliens exist. Done. Sounded great. Now, the fact that it was so specific, I think, is what sucked a lot of people in. I mean, even I was sucked in to some extent. I basically thought, well, you know, it's, it's not like other prophecies. I mean, it's very easy to just step outside, look into the sky. There's either a spaceship there or it's not. If it is, great. If it's not, oh well. No skin off my back. At least I didn't spend any money. Which, unfortunately, a lot of people did. Yes, that's right. As most prophets, she was standing to profit from her profitness. <laughs> lots of books, lots of CDs being rushed to press prior to the 14th. Yeah. Yes, the prophecy was very specific. In reading it over, there's actually a text version you can you can look at and and listening to the YouTube video that Blossom put up. I was kind of visualizing the way it might have appeared. 
And it put me in mind of something that I actually saw about, well, almost 20 years ago to the day. Or three years, or five years, depending which version you watch. It looked a little something like this. That was the scene in California's Mojave Desert three years ago today. The historic first view of the newcomer ship upon its dramatic arrival. That was the scene in California's Mojave Desert five years ago today. The historic first view of the newcomer ship upon its dramatic arrival. That's what we were expecting to see. That's what the prophecy told us was going to happen. Oh, and uh, in case you're wondering where that's from, the first clip, the widescreen clip, was from Alien Nation, the original movie. And the full screen clip was from the TV series. Science fiction, folks. And excellent science fiction, might I add. Totally check this show out. The fact is, last night, on the night of October 14th, 2008, I did see something. I saw something that actually suggests maybe Blossom was telling at least partly the truth. Because you see, I've read over the prophecy and I've read between the lines and I've determined what it actually meant. I know what the light ship is and I actually did see it last night. Now unfortunately, even though I did see the light ship last night, I didn't videotape it. I do apologize for that. It was a nice clear night. I could have got a great shot of it too, but uh, I didn't tape it. So what I'm going to do is, it's still broad daylight out tonight. It definitely shows up better at night. So. I'm going to wait for it to hit nightfall again. It's a little bit cloudy today, but it was cloudy yesterday too and it cleared up by the time night rolled around. Once the, the clouds clear, or at least enough that you can get a view of it, I'm going to go outside with the tripod, okay? With the tripod. I don't believe in this, you know, shaky cam, out of focus bullshit. No, no. You're going to get a nice, stable, in focus shot of the light ship. So I'm going to show you and I'm going to explain it to you, all right? So you come back here a little later tonight, or maybe tomorrow, I don't know. It depends when I can get the video put up. Um, and I will show you the light ship. I will settle this whole thing once and for all so we can all put it behind us and get on with our lives, all right? I know what the light ship is. I have seen it, and I will videotape proof tonight. And you'll see it here first. So tune in again a little later tonight and we will solve the mystery together, once and for all. I'll lay it all out for you. It's really quite simple. I'm surprised nobody else has deciphered this. I mean, it's, it's so simple. But that's usually the case with even the most complex of mysteries. The solution is often staring you right in the face, and it's so obvious that you just can't see it. Well, the same goes for the light ship. I saw it, and you will see it too. Right here, on my channel. See you later, folks. Until then, sayonara.